The exercises in this video are going to help you pass the seated thoracic rotation test. Use a PVC pipe or something similar to twist from your upper back until you feel a stretch. Then use your muscles to try to twist a bit further. Repeat this until your time limit is up. For this exercise, grab a dumbbell or a kettlebell and do a side bend until you feel a stretch on the side that does not have the weight. Once you've held that weight for 10 seconds or so, try to go a little bit deeper. And you're gonna continue to repeat this for that one to two minute time frame. For weight, I want you to pick something that's challenging, but that is not too much. Next, we're gonna work on some neck mobility. We're gonna start with some neck rotations. So you're gonna pretend that you have a magic marker sticking straight out of your head, and you're gonna use that marker to draw the biggest circle you possibly can. Go slow and controlled, and if any range of motion causes pain, just back off a little bit. For this next exercise, Use your hands to turn your head as far as you comfortably can. Then try to rotate your neck back to neutral, but resist that rotation with your hands. Then try to rotate your head further using your neck muscles. In other words, you're gonna do an active range of motion. And again, do that for three to five seconds. After that, use your hands to passively stretch yourself a little bit further into rotation. Repeat that sequence of pushing against your hand, rotating further, and stretching until your time limit is up. For this last one, turn your head and then lift your head off the ground a couple inches. Try to hold it the entire prescribed time, but if you need a little break, that's okay. After you've done one side, do the other side. You can do this routine anywhere from four to seven days a week. Just listen to your body. If you're feeling really sore, back off a little bit. If you feel like you can push a little harder, then push a little harder.